drop a like and do share leave your comments and do not forget to subscribe for more videos hola amigos bienvenidos de nuevo a wikipediaworld.com to the spanish intermediate level let's speak spanish today hablemos español on this lecture we will review how to form past participles remember that we studied that on the previous video for the passive voice now you're going to see that these participles have have different uses, so we're going to learn which are they, okay? Let's start, comencemos. Revisemos un poco cómo formas un participio, pasado. Let's review a little bit, how do you form the past participle? Remember that we have regular past participles, participios pasados regulares, que siguen esta regla. Los verbos terminados en AR, the verbs finishing in AR, eh, use the final part ADO. And the verbs finishing in ER, ER, and IR, IR, utilizan la terminación IDO. They use the final part IDO. In the case of the irregular past participles, los participios pasados irregulares no siguen una regla en particular. They don't have a rule it by themselves. But let's remember some of the ones we saw on the previous video. Sido, for the verb to be, ser. Hecho, for the verb to do, like done. Impreso, for the verb imprimir. Abierto, for the verb abrir, to open. Roto, for the verb to break, romper. But how can you use the past participles in Spanish? In Spanish, you can use them in different ways. The first one, as we saw in the previous video, is for passive phrases, for the phrases in passive voice, para frases en voz pasiva. Por ejemplo, ese puente fue construido en la Edad Media. We have the past participle regular for construir, construido. And that bridge was built in the Middle Age. La comida es preparada por mi papá. You have the regular past participle of the verb preparar. And America fue descubierta por Cristóbal Colón. America was discovered by Christopher Columbus. We have here the past participle irregular, the irregular past participle of the verb to discover, descubrir. Descubierta, preparar, preparada, construir, construido. As you can see, the past participle in the passive voice has a concordance with the subject. Tiene concordancia directa con el sujeto. So if it is masculine, you write it construido, for example. But if it is feminine, you write preparada instead of preparado. Okay? The past participle can be also used as an adjective. Puedes usarlo también como adjetivo. Mira, Ana prepara papas fritas. Ana prepares uh, fried potatoes, or French fries as we could say in, in English. But in Spanish, is fried potato. El participio pasado es fritas. And is an irregular past participle of the verb freír, to fry. So in this case, fritas is the an adjective. It's modifying the noun, papas, potatoes. El vestido está terminado. In this case, the verb to be, estar, es un verbo copulativo. A co, 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 un verbo copulativo, it's a verb that needs something else after it. To make, uh, in, in this verb makes a connection between the noun and the um, predicate, okay? So in this case, we have the copulative verb, el verbo copulativo to be, and then the adjective terminado, finished. El vestido está terminado. Terminado is the past, the regular past participle of the verb terminar. You can also use the past participles for time verb tenses that are composed by two parts. Tiempos verbales compuestos. In this case, the perfect verb tenses. For example, 
La culpable ha dicho la verdad. The guilty woman has told the truth. In this case, you have the verb haber, el verbo haber, plus the past participle of the verb decir, to say, which is irregular, you see? Dicho is the past participle of decir. In this case, for the perfect tenses, you don't make any concordance with the subject. No hay concordancia con el sujeto para los tiempos verbales compuestos. As you can see, la culpable is a woman that is guilty. And you don't say a dicha. You say a dicho. The past participle can be also used to indicate modo, tiempo, causa. To indicate how do you do something, when, and why. Por ejemplo, después de las vacaciones, llegué al trabajo descansado. After the vacations, I arrived, I came to work relaxed. ¿Cómo llegué al trabajo? Descansado. How did I arrive to work? Relaxed. Calm. Descansado. Insatisfecha con mi trabajo, me puse a llorar. Unsatisfied with my work, I started to cry. Why did I start to cry? Because I'm insatisfied, I'm not satisfied with my job. As you can see, the past participle of the verb satisfacer in the negative form, insatisfecha, is the, uh, indicating the cause. Descansado is the past participle, the regular past participle, participle of the verb descansar. Let's see the, the other phrase. Terminadas las tareas, los niños salieron a jugar. Finished the homework, the kids went, go, went out to play. When did the kids go out to play? Finished, terminadas, which in this case, this past participle, would represent after finishing the homework. Terminadas is the regular past participle of the verb terminar. And as you can see here and in the, in the other two phrases, we make concordance with the subject. So thank you very much, my friends.